Metro 535. You can show me in route to the number one call as well. Alright, so a noise complaint at the pink cage, room 18, so we're going to head that way. Just got myself a coffee. And I'm probably just going to have to chuck it in the cup holder because we have to go and do police work. So we'll head that way. Not sure what we're in for here. Uh, it's going to be to our left and then down a street. So let's get going that way. Alright guys, we're just arriving here on the scene for the noise complaint. It should be just in there. I'm just going to park out here on the street. Not sure exactly what we're walking into. Metro 535, you can show me 1097 in the area. So, we'll go for a look. Room 18, I'm not sure exactly where that is. Got a Dodge Charger over there. Four teams up top. Eighteen, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. It's going to be this one on the corner. Med. It's going to be the one down the end here. Yeah, alrighty. It was just a noise complaint, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll let Med take lead. He's the, um... His uniform. We're just plain clothes. Los Santos Police. LSPD, open the door! You hear anything? Yeah, just some faint voices through the door. I'm trying to see what I can see. LSPD, you need to open the door. Came and spill. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, knock, knock, knock. You're gonna keep your mouth shut. Got it. I'm hearing noises now. Yeah, just faint voices. Can't tell what they're saying. LSPD, you need to open the door. Keep your mouth shut. I'm gonna head down to the manager's office, see if they can give us a key. Alright. Your I'll try and knock again. No, it's not going to knock because I'm too close, I guess. Just stand there, Shannon. Oh, I can't do it because I'm in the menu.
LSPD, we can hear you in there. You need to open the door. What do you want? Come to the door, I please. I fuck, you need to shut your voice box volume down a little bit. Holy shit. Open the door. It's enough to wake up several people sleep. What the hell do I need to open the door for? Because we need to have a chat. Well, you, you're chatting to me right now. Nope, you need to open the door for me, please. <laughs> you're chatting to me right now. What was that? I said, you're already chatting to me right now. You're good. You're fine just chatting like this. Okay. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, okay. I'm Shannon Thomas. Do you want to tell me what's going on here? Nothing. Alright, just, just chill there for a sec. Um, refusing to open the door. Mm -hmm. Did you get a key? Uh, yeah, I did. If we have to go in, if it's locked. What else did the manager say? Uh, not a whole lot. It's uh, one of those places you just come and go. Did he just say there was just a lot of noise? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened to the door there. Metro 535, we have a possible um, person uncooperative in a an apartment room, 1-8, at the pink cage. It's like she's stabbing it or hitting it with a hammer or something. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can you leave? 5.35, by the looks of it we just had a knife shown at us, we're going in. LSPD, you need to open the door and come out! Why? I am a 20-something year old woman! Door. Shut that fucking door! Please let me go! Shut the door! Thomas, okay. Thomas, you need to open the door for me, okay? We need to know that everything's okay in there. Okay. All you gotta do is, do all you gotta do is open the door. Well, that's a bullshit lie. You want to tell me what's going on in there? There ain't nothing going on. There's nothing going on, but there's a noise complaint, and now all we're hearing is doors slamming, and and you guys are shouting, and uh, what looked to be a knife coming through a door, it does. You want to tell us what's going on? There's nothing going on. That's law enforcement concern. Okay. Five thirty-five. Can we get an additional to this location? Not my fault people have sensitive hearing and they can't take a few little slaps here and there. If you, look, Thomas, if, if you just open the door, we can just chat about this, okay? It doesn't have to go any further than this, but right now, the, the more you stay in there without opening the door, the worse it gets. Yeah, see, you won't understand anything, so... Well, help me understand. I'm freaking part of why I'm doing any of this. Well, if you tell me what's going on, I can help you. You can't help shit. Can't help shit if I don't know what's going on. So why don't you open the door and tell me what's happening? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't replace things. Hmm. Okay. Not. Nope. That is a knife. Definitely a knife. Stop fucking poking your eye in here, damn it. <laughs> Definitely a knife. Okay. Thomas, what do you got a knife for? 
I don't know. You tell me. I'm not the one with the knife. I'm asking you. That's what I'm saying. You tell me. Because right now you're just making things worse, okay? Yeah, well, shit's already fucking worse. Might as well just make it worse, right? You just, just talk to me. Tell me what's going on. I don't need to tell you fucking shit. Well, let's, let me tell you if, what's going to happen from my point of view then. If you don't talk to us and don't give us any information or anything, we're going to kick the door down and we're just going to come in, okay? Unless, unless you just talk to me and tell me what's going on. See, I don't know how the hell you're going to get in. That door's fucking double locked. Go ahead and tell me what's going on so we can help you and then we can all go home. You can fucking do shit for it. How many times do I have to tell you that? Five three five. Has anyone got a door ram or something? I mean, something if you can make this fucking lady in here fucking younger, so she can actually, you know, keep a promise and have you a little bit better. Hang on. So, so instead of being a seventy-eight-year-old bitch who decides they're going to go ahead and fucking lie. Gotta make my I am twenty-something years old. Oh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right. Oh, you, is, are you saying to me all you want is an apology or something from the lady? What the hell? No. Sorry. Tell me again what you want. Like I said, you could probably make this fucking seventy-eight-year-old lady in here more like she's in her. Uh, you know, later 20s and early 30s some shit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Because then she could actually keep a promise. Oh. Well, unfortunately that's impossible, okay? If she's in her 70s or whatever she is, then that's where she is. Yeah, clearly you don't know what it's like to be lied to on a fucking Tinder site. Okay, so what? This was meant to be a Tinder date or something and that's what you got? Is that what you're telling me? You're starting, uh, you're, uh, you're starting to figure it out. Okay, so you, you met on Tinder and what, she had a rockin' body and stuff and you know she was in her 20s, the picture was in her 20s of a person and you know, why not meet up sort of thing and you know, push comes to shove, you meet up and it's not what you signed up for, right? Actually, in her photos, she was 33. Okay. I bet you she looked really good in her pictures, though, didn't she? Maybe. You want to know something, Thomas? You won't be the first person to have this happen to them, and you won't be the last person, okay? Unfortunately, it happens, but... Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, but at least... They probably get a chance to freaking restart their family and shit. Okay. My question is, though, why, why are you keeping her in the room, though? We You can also easily sort this out. She can come outside and you can stay in, you know, in there and we can figure this out. I ain't fucking stupid. It's too late to go back. <laughs> Great. It's not too... Yeah, see, it tells me that that's right. It's not too late. What what laws have you broken? What have you done so far that, that warrants you going to jail? Right now, you haven't really done anything I wrong. I already opened this fucking door and shit. What was that? Have I not already not oh, or refused to open this fucking door? I mean, like at the she, like, is she not pretty much trapped in here? At the moment, you've just refused to open a door and uh, you've stabbed the door. I mean, it's not illegal to stab a door or anything like that. So, I mean, at the moment, all you, you're not really in any trouble. You just need to open the door and let us in. You can come back from this. All, all you've got to do, Thomas, is just open the door, okay? It's all you've got to do, and just come out. If there's if there's anybody who should be in trouble or should go to jail, it, it's the person who lied on the Tinder date and said that they were 30-something when they were 70-something. Like, to me, that's disgusting, and I wouldn't be happy either. Get the fuck out of here. So, so why don't we take her? I'm 20 Let's something. take her to jail, and let's do that.
Hello? Ma'am? Are you okay? Yes. Alright. Uh, uh, just, ma'am, just come out through the front door I with your hands so. up. Okay? Hands up and come out the front door. Prepare. Are you Jehovah's Witness? Ma'am, we're the police. You need to come out the front door. We don't want no Girl Scout cookies. We've got no Girl Scouts cookies, ma'am. We've got... We just need you to come out, okay? Oh. Hello? Okay. Anybody hands here? up. Keep your hands up. Face away oh. from me. Face away from me. Where are you? Trooper, you right to cuff her? He called me old. Yeah. I am 20 something. Alright, Thomas, can you still hear me? Just fucking leave me alone. I, I can't do that. Like I said to you, you're not, we're not, you know, you're not in huge trouble at the moment. All I need for you to do now is to open the door. Come on, man. All you gotta do, man, is just open the door and have your hands up. It's all you gotta do, okay? The rest, that can all be figured out. The rest is easy. Come on. All you gotta do, man, is open the door, okay? It's so, easy for you. It's all you gotta do. Yeah, it's easy for you. Have you got any guns or anything inside the apartment that we need to know about? No, I don't know fucking guns. Okay, whereabouts is the knife that you have? At, at the door? Do you not just hear it get thrown at the door? Is that the only knife you have? Is it? I don't know, I'm asking you. I'm hoping for a bit of faith and a bit of honesty. I mean, you've already done one good thing, you let her come out. That That's a, a positive step in the right direction. I, I keep telling you, you, you're not too far to get past this, like, you haven't... Right now, you're doing fine. So, are you gonna come out with your hands up for us, or what are you gonna do? Five thirty five to three one two. Have you got a door ram or something to ram this door? I might have something in the back of my SUV. Copy, I'm thinking we might just have to breach and go in. Oh, stand by, we got door opening. Tom, just keep your hands up and just come out, okay? It's all you gotta do. Keep your hands up and just come out. Just stay now. Face the face your apartment. I got cover. Just just stay there and put your hands up, okay? That's all you got to do. Five three five one at gunpoint. One ten fifteen. Come on, walk backwards. Just walk back towards the stairs. Backwards. Go to just go towards the stairs. Five three five. Show the apartment clear. Pretty sure I have a knife, actually I do. No, oh, actually. Actually, hang on. We will we will roleplay that we put gloves on first. Otherwise that's not real good.
We don't want to pick it up with no gloves. Wow, that was a standoff and a half. Oof. We'll go ahead and search the apartment in a second. Just need to find out what's going on with these guys. Actually, I'm just going to rush to my car. park in there. Hey, Alright, I want to park in that. Just in case someone does come here. Actually, we'll turn them off. want to say anything then that's that nothing on his person did he ask did he for a lawyer anything aside from the knife up there no not at all no i'm about to go and search the rest of the apartment if you want to join me all right i mean no one got hurt he uh i mean at the end of the day the boat he came out willingly and stuff we might be able to work with him if there's nothing else in the building yeah. I almost lost my eye a few times, but I'll I'll look the other way, I guess. I'm not saying we're looking the other way, I was just saying we might be able to do something. I'm 100% hitting him with the kidnapping if uh, the woman there wants to press charges. <laughs> uh, she kind of deserved it if you ask me. Yeah, well, not our call to make. Nope. Imagine lying on a Tinder profile, though. Couldn't be me. Not the first time, nor the last time. Hopefully they can see that. Oh, this is a disgusting toilet. Not a valid amount. Of course it's not. see anything over here in the TV cabinet. Yeah, closet looks empty, um, just some clothes. Got some mugs over here. Some empty drawers. Mm -hmm. Got a clock that's tweaking out. What was that? Yeah, the clock here is broken. That's the only out of place thing. Yeah, the bed looks like it's been disturbed, but I mean, it could have already been like that, I don't know. Mm hmm. Not many hiding places. Yeah, exactly. I don't see anything in the bathroom. It looks like a disgusting mess, though. Uh, yep. I think that's all we can really do here. There's yeah, it looks alright. Let me quickly check under the sheets. Yeah. I don't think we got a response, so either they didn't yeah, see it, and I didn't spell either. apartment right, I <laughs> spelled apartment. That's terrible.
Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, charge him with whatever you want. Um, I mean, I'm just glad we didn't have to go in with our guns and shoot or anything like that. I'm glad it ended peacefully. Mm -hmm. Yep. Trooper, ma'am. Yep. Um, ma'am, what's your name? My name? Yeah. It's Christina. Christina. And what's your last name, Christina? Christina Charbot. Okay, Christina. I'm Lieutenant Henry with the LSPD, okay? Oh. Do, do you know where you are? Yes. Fuck's sake. Alright, do you want to tell us what, what happened? Well, I was just trying out, you know, the Kinders. Meeting new people. And... I'm not entirely sure how it works. So, this guy messages me, and he tells me, you know, to meet him here. Okay, whereabouts but did you meet I... him? Like, on what? On the internet? Is that what you're saying? Tinder. Tinder, okay. Yes, on Tinder. Alright. He said he wanted my fine ass. All right. Um, do you have your? Have you got her phone? No, I just took a knife off of her. Ma'am, whereabouts is your phone? Or was this done on the computer? My left pocket. Did you talk to him on your phone, or was it on a computer? It was messages on my phone. Okay. This this trooper here is gonna take your phone. Okay. Oh, okay. You're not under arrest, you've just been detained until we can figure out exactly what happened and led to the whole situation up in the apartment, okay? Mm. Alright. That trooper's gonna look at some messages on there between you and him. Um, do you wanna just tell me vocally um, what, you know, so he initiated the conversation with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. My, f my next question is, before we go any further, on your profile, how old did you put you were? Me? Yeah. What's a profile? So, you when you signed up for Tinder, I would imagine you would have put some a couple of pictures of yourself on there, how old you were, and maybe what you're looking for, or who you, what kind of person you wanted to meet or something. Oh, that's what that's for. Mm -hmm. And then you would have. I thought it was like a friends app. No, nope, and then you would have confirmed it, probably. Oh, I just put random numbers. Okay. To ha what age did you say you were, though? Uh, I think I put like nineteen eighty seven. Okay. And did you use your own pictures, or did you use pictures of you when you were a lot younger, or did you use someone else's pictures? Yeah, there are pictures of me. I got one of my grandsons who used the, uh, the Facetunes. Right. From pictures of me. Okay. I'll just hang out here with this trooper and I'll be back. Okay. Ma'am, what is the passcode for your phone, if you will do this? Uh, oof. Let me try and remember. I think it's one, two, three, four. I think it's spelled this way, actually. There it is. No prize or anything. Ooh. Where am I? Ma'am, whereabouts is your car? 
Oh, I don't take the, the car there. Ma'am. I take the bus. You take the bus? Yes. Okay. So you you caught the bus here? Mm-hmm. It left me off at uh, 576 and I walked here. All right. Um, do we have the name of the other of um I know his first name or last name was Thomas, but do we have his identification or anything? Yeah, it's Thomas King. I've run into him before. Thomas King. Yeah. He's just normally a drunk. Oh yeah, I've got all his information here at the moment. Alright, I found her Tinder profile on her phone here and it says she's listed herself as 38. 38? Yes. Alright. Um, okay, so ma'am, when you arrived here, um, was he already in the apartment? Uh, yes. Okay, and you knocked on the door? Mm-hmm. Okay, then what happened? Woo, where am I? Ma'am, are you okay? Mm, hello? Yes. Do you, do you remember who I am? Mm-hmm. Who am I? You're... The, the officer lady? The who? The officer lady? Yeah, okay. Yes, so I'm a police officer. Um, so you knocked on the door, and then what happened? Uh... I said I was here, it's me, Christina, and uh, he unlocks the door, and I come in. Okay. Alright, why this trip? I go through your phone, I'm just going to go and chat with Mr. Thomas. Okay. Mr. King. All right. All right. So, for, right from the beginning, you've had your rights. You've had your rights read to you and all that, have you? No. Okay. At at this time, you are being placed under arrest. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, I already knew I'm talking clean because I've already had this before. Okay. Do you still wish to talk to me? Not really anything I can tell you. Well, you can. So, do you want to talk to me or not? Depends on the question. Okay. So, you initiated contact with her via Tinder. Is that correct? Was that a yes or a no? You need to speak up a little bit for me. Yes. Yes? Okay. Then what happened? I mean, we just arranged to meet over here in this room. Okay, so you you rented the um, the room? Oh uh, yeah, it was quite the expensive one. It was $35 a night. Okay. So you were in the room and then she she came here and met you? Okay. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and walk me through what I, absolutely everything that happened from that point. I'm in letter in the door. Did she knocked and identified? Okay. okay. Walks in. Obviously, she ain't the freaking person she was saying she was. Did you invite her in, oh, or did she temper, just walk in temper. when you opened the door? No, I 
I mean, I told her she can come in. Okay, continue. I wasn't looking, I turned around by that time. And well, at that point, I just let my anger take over, so... Right. And I just honestly went downhill from there, so... Alright. And then what happened? You need to give me a little bit more, you need to give me specifics. What do you mean? So, did you lock her in the bathroom? Did you threaten other? her with the knife? You need to tell me things that you did. The more, the more honest you are with me, and the more you tell me, the more I can help you. I said, I must just really started shouting at each other. She went to the bathroom. I got the freaking knife out of the drawer, and you pretty much know the rest. There's not much of a gap between when we really started fighting when you showed up, so. Alright. Did you lock her in the bathroom, or did she lock herself in the bathroom? I never locked her in there, I just shut the door. Okay, because I'm not going to lie, when I did get on scene, I, it was pretty mumbled and stuff, but I did hear what it sounded like stay in there and shut the fuck up or something, okay? So, did you, it's it's not looking... She was never locked in there. Okay. But, alright, just hang out here. He's got a kidnapping charge at the moment, guys. It's not looking good for him at all. How are we going over here with the Tinder profile? Ooh. Pretty good. Looks like I found some messages between her and Mr. King about meeting up here at this hotel room. Okay. He just said that he she knocked on the door. Um, he obviously opened it. He turned his back. She walked in, you know, because he didn't suspect really anything. He was just meant to be a, I guess, I'm a guessing, a one-night kind of thing. Um, he then turned around when she came in and obviously wasn't who she'd expected. He got very, very angry. Um, grabbed a knife, she ran into the bathroom, and she slammed the door, and then, yeah, then we arrived. Alright. So, it's not looking very good for Mr. King. No, not at all. I'm just gonna take these off you, ma'am, okay? Now, I don't know if the trooper asked you, but do you need a medic? Watched. Do you need a medic? I think the Russians are here. Ma'am. Ma'am. I'm a police officer, remember? Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you Do you need a medic? No, no, thank you. I just ate. Alright, come over here for me. Just take a seat for me, okay? In here? Yeah, because I'm just worried that you're going to fall over or hurt yourself or you're just going to start walking off or something. Do you want to open your door for me? Uh... It won't let me. It won't let me. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so when you went into the room, what happened exactly? Well, the year was 1945. No, ma'am, we're in and 2020. We ma'am, ma it's 2020, okay? Mm. You you went on a Tinder date, and you've gone up to apartment 18. Yep, you went, you went on Tinder, which is a dating app, and you went to apartment 18, okay, where some... Some things happened, okay? Can you remember what happened? Yes. Alright, so you went in... I walked into the door. Yep. Oh. And... You walked into, the, like, you smacked into the door, or you, he opened the door for you? He unlocked it and said to come in. Okay, and then what happened? I go in, and he, he gets all mad because I'm not who he expected. Okay, did, did he then pull the knife? Yes. Okay, I did... went to go hide in the bathroom. So he threatened you with a knife, or did he grab the knife to maybe butter some sandwiches or something? He threatened me with the knife. He was just standing there and told me to keep my mouth shut. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and that's get in the bathroom. He told you to get in the bathroom, or did you run to the bathroom? I ran to the bathroom. He told me to stay in there. All right. I tried to leave several times, and he said no, and he slammed the door. Okay. All right. I should have killed him. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, to be honest, it's a very good outcome. Neither of you were heard, okay? You're just oh. gonna just hang out here, troop. I I've got nothing else for her. I think she might be suffering some sort of illness, though. She might need to go to the hospital. She seems to be very forgetful. Yeah, maybe it's just the age. Yeah, does she... I didn't actually check when I had my tablet just then. Does she live around here? I don't know. I don't think anybody's like... Hang on, I'll just grab my tablet again. Uh, 411 Vinewood. What's up? According... Yeah, according to the GPS on here, it's pretty much at the LTD there at the gas station. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. do you want to give her a lift home then? I've got all I need from her, so if you want to take her and then clear off, then that's all good. Yeah, I can take her to her address. Alright, um, I guess we'll head down to Mission Row. Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna call for a tow in a sec. You mind sticking around actually until tow gets here for that charger? Yeah, the manager doesn't want to just leave it there, he wants a toad. Yeah, might as well. Well, I mean, if the manager wants, if the manager's happy, it can just stay there. I'm gonna give you a ride. Yeah, all right. In that okay. case, I'll just uh, quickly head to the manager's office and ask. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll, I'll just secure yeah, some I'll stuff in the car. Yeah, the home listed on your ID. Oh, that home. <laughs> that home. Yes. Uh, nope, can't spell. Well. Interesting scene, that one. Uh, I can take my gloves off, we don't need them anymore. And we're gonna clear off. Um, he's... Thomas King is getting charged with um, kidnapping, pretty much. He, you know, he kept her hostage and wouldn't let her go out and stuff like that. And, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, manager doesn't want the car here, nor Mr. King wants him trespassed as well once we finish booking him. Alright, um, if you go for the tower, I'll wait then. Yep. Metro 489, 1070 pistol, 582 inside the pink cage, blue charger. And we are going to now wait for a tow truck. Metro 489, I'll be en route to Mission Row, one time 10.15. Yeah, so anyway guys, he's going to jail. He kidnapped her, he wouldn't let her out and stuff like that. So unfortunately he's going to jail. Um, he also 
tried to poke mid in the eye a couple of times with that knife through that little hole that he created with that first stab to the door. Um, so, um, if mid takes any charges off him, then, you know, he might do, I don't know. But, unfortunately, he is going to jail. What he did was a crime. Um, as for Christina, she's old and she should never have lied on her profile picture, but I believe she's suffering dementia or something, and so she's getting taken home, and yeah, but anyway, we're going to wait for the tow truck, and then we'll be back 10-8 off this one. <laughs>